Health information exchange is essentially the exchange of health information or patient's information from one location of care to another. And the interoperability actually makes that data, data meaningful between two different uh, EHRs or other, other products that have the patient's information within it. Some things that are in health information exchange might be sending a fax or maybe providing view access to their electronic health record. Health information exchange promotes uh, patient-centered care by improving health care quality. And what I mean by that is it increases patient safety, it reduces costs, it streamlines the communication, it allows for consistency in the health record, and it helps provide decision support tools. Health information exchange is important in the hospital. A lot of our patients, especially in our hospital, come in through the ED, so you need information timely. I think that the common thought out there with the consumer and the lay people is that um, all your doctors talk to each other, all your medical information talks to each other, and I think to bring that forward to the consumer to say, you know, it doesn't talk together. There are two values to health information exchange. Number one, for the patient. So if I'm seen at one location where they do my labs or do x-rays or do something and I'm referred to a specialist or I'm referred someplace else, those labs and that information can flow in so that the specialist can see that stuff. So I know that my information flows with me. There's also the benefit on the provider side. An exchange will allow them to have a complete picture of the patient so that then when they go to treat them, they can treat them more comprehensively as a result of knowing them better. We had a patient that was here in the hospital and the wife was given a packet from the transitional care unit and they brought it into the ED and they have this big gigantic packet, lots of information and nobody asked for the information and yet the wife said that everybody kept asking me the same questions over and over again. So I mean if we had that health information exchange we were really able to start the story where we knew what had gone on. I think it, even as a provider that it makes a much bigger story when we look like we're informed and we're knowledgeable and we know what's going on. We had a, a resident come in to us and when we were doing her admission and looking at her medication list we noticed that she had an order for both Coumadin and aspirin. Coumadin and aspirin are not typically given together. We pointed this out to her new provider. Now this new provider um, did not know her, so the new provider was relying on the information that came with her for the admission. Because those two drugs are not normally given together, and there was nothing to support the decision for those two drugs, the provider did stop um, the aspirin. The next day her daughter came in, and I informed the daughter that the new provider had discontinued the aspirin. The daughter at that point became very concerned, did tell us the diagnosis. Her mother had a rare bleeding disorder. Um, in view of that diagnosis, the drugs of aspirin and Coumadin would have been um, found to be beneficial in that case. However, once the diagnosis was known, the provider did put the aspirin back on board. There were no adverse effects to the resident. However, had we not investigated and questioned the daughter about the combination, it could have been a, a negative outcome for that resident. For health information exchange in my facility was the handoff from the transitional care. They started using an e-interact form with an SBAR that gave us more concise, standardized data on the patient. Before we were looking at 60 pages of information on a patient and nobody looked through it so we never got that true story on the patient. I think we're seeing a lot of value through health information exchange. Uh, the, the biggest piece for me is um, that access of information to the pharmacist and their ability to really comprehensively look at patient information and make the best recommendations for the best outcome for that patient. Our ability to have access to information sooner and faster allows us to, to, to seek the clarifications that are necessary so that we can have that medication ready for that patient upon admittance, where previously we would get the order the same day or same time that that patient's going to be admitted to a skilled nursing facility, and so there would be just lag time in between us being able to get that medication to the patient. I think the, the resolution that we're seeing, just the clarity of the order itself is much clearer. So I think about the number of, of clarifications we sent out simply because we couldn't read a fax. The first thing I think we need to do is to get everybody together at the, to the table and discuss uh, what needs to change between the different healthcare settings. 
um, what might need to change from the pharmacy's point of view, what might need to change from the nursing home's point of view, and the hospital's point of view. Because actions often cause unintended consequences, and what might be done different on the pharmacy end then might require a change in workflow on the nursing home or hospital dance. Some of the key things to have in place to make health information exchange happen would be to understand um, what resources you need, how do you get the, to those resources, um, making sure that your key people are educated, people are understanding the goal and what, what your vision is and what you're trying to accomplish. So I think a big starting point for anybody going into this project is really looking at what you already have available and build on that. See if all the points are there, see if all the information is there, and then kind of go from there. I think as more people understand the value of it and also understand what it provides and more people do it, I think it'll be easier for people to incorporate that into their workflow and make it happen. So it's kind of like what was the value of a telephone in a community when you're the only person with a telephone? Nothing. But as the telephone begins to grow, all of a sudden it becomes an integral part of how you're doing business. And the same thing will happen with health information exchange. I think health information exchange builds off of where we've gone with our electronic health record. It's starting to make help us pull the whole picture of the patient together. We have our society so mobile. My mom and dad travel to Texas every year and to be able to hand that information and really see that big picture. Now instead of starting over where we're asking questions and trying something that they've already done before, we're going to be able to just take it from where they are and know what we've tried and things that haven't been successful before. And I just think we're going to just do much better patient family centered care that way. The best thing about health information exchange is that it is truly your one-stop shop for all pieces of information for your patient. You don't need to, to research through multiple faxes to make sure that you have everything you need, uh, especially when you never know if you have the entire profile as you filter through those pieces. Simply put, health information exchange will change the healthcare industry by changing the way we, healthcare professionals, communicate with each other. We were able to get exchange going in both directions and through doing that we were able to provide better coordinated care for those patients and consequently make lives better. Having been the first participant to successfully do an HI exchange, I'm not sure that it hit me at first what we had just succeeded in doing. So when I kind of woke up in the middle of the night and went, oh my gosh, look what we have just done. This is huge. And it felt really good. It felt like I participated in making a small step to safer health care and better decisions for um, everybody.